Surface modeling is used to produce organic shapes and features that solid features alone cannot create. Surfaces can be used to define faces of a part, as a splitting tool for splitting other surfaces or parts, or used as construction geometry when matching position, curvature, or tangency. Before starting a model, carefully lay out any construction lines, surfaces, or sketch images to identify where important surfaces and curves will need to be defined. Once outlined, choose where to break down the part geometry into manageable sections. This approach builds a strong foundation that is less prone to regeneration errors. As a best practice for modeling symmetric parts, always build half or even a quarter of a model whenever possible, creating only a portion of the model and mirroring the end result to the opposing side eliminates excessive features and lost time. When surface modeling, the underlying curves must be constrained properly to prevent a failed surface. A common mistake is over-constraining a surface to match curvature or tangency when the underlying curves are not held by the same constraints. In this example, two extruded surfaces need to be joined together. The two sketched curves located on the left and right side of the extruded surfaces are the guides. When creating the loft with matching tangency, the loft feature fails because the guides are not properly defined. Changing the spline handles to be horizontally constrained and normal to the extruded surfaces ensures the sketch constraints match the feature definition. This course covers a wide variety of surface modeling techniques and best practices, including how to properly evaluate surfaces using curvature visualization and adjusting part appearances, how to create complex surface geometry using the loft feature, how to use the fill surface feature to patch open areas of a surface model, how to use the split feature to split parts or other surfaces, how to join surfaces together with the boolean feature, how to extend surfaces using the move boundary feature, and explore best practices for modifying surfaces using direct editing tools.